me, Jane Quimby. My life is a little complicated right now. I landed my fashion dream job working for her, Gray Chandler Murray. The only problem? They think I'm an adult. Now I'm juggling two secret lives, one in high school and one in high fashion. Previously on Jane by Design. The way you look sends a message. Let's just say the message it sends is not a positive one. You know, maybe if I look different, maybe people like the judge would treat me a little differently. You know, tell me why you ditched me at the dance last week. I came back. Maybe I could make it up to you sometime. Buy you a coffee? I like that. Nick, our table's ready. Uh, well, who's your friend? How's your date? She did stay through the whole thing, so that part was an improvement. Ouch. Actually, I was thinking about sleeping over to friends tonight. Whose house are you sleeping at? I'm sleeping at the house of Lulu. I'd be willing to bet a year of my generous Board of Education salary that Jane isn't sleeping over at Lulu Pope's. Where else would she be sleeping? Did you ever stay out all night when you were in high school? I have to stop this. Fashion starts oh so simply, with an idea. There are fabrics and forms, patterns and prints, seams and silhouettes. But the most important tool that fashion possesses is the illusion. Hyper Grace is the new face of our ad campaign. So, Birdie, what's our battle plan? The last time Pepper did a cover shoot, she showed up with half her head shaved. Runway show in Milan. No show. Swimsuit cover shoot in Fiji. She went native. It took them three weeks to find her. We cannot afford any of these mishaps. We need someone with her at all times. No more models for you. Mm -mm. Don't look at me. When I worked for Hope Couture, I had to watch her for four days. And? And three of them were spent in a holding cell in Trenton. You. Moving. Out of town. Getting my wisdom teeth taken out. Oh. You people are pathetic. What about you, buddy? Uh, family reunion. I miss them. Someone's got to watch her. Who's it going to be? Is it true? Piper Grace is the new face of Donovan Decker. I love her. What? You want me to take care of her? We do. You are our first choice. Because... Because you are so responsible. Oh. Piper is the model of the moment, Jane. This is a big get for us. Nothing, and I mean nothing, can go wrong. Of course not. Wait, why would something go wrong? Piper arrives tomorrow from Milan. I'm on the first flight to L.A., but I'll be back in time for the photo shoot. Until then, she's all yours. And I am sure that everything will go smoothly. Of course. Good luck, Jane. Should be fun. <laughs> right, yeah. Yeah, it'll be totally fun. But not too much fun. There are a few key things you have to remember whilst Piper's in your care, Jane. You might want to take notes. No tattoos. Mm, no tweeting. No tanning. No trampolines. Trampolines, no waxing. No faxing. No Fiji water. Fiji water? Trust me. Do, Do not let, let her out of your, your sight. sight. <laughs> Seriously. Seriously. Yes, you're coming back from the city. And, and you're headed in? Yeah, bad timing. I know. You want to grab a cup of coffee? I could just call my brother and, and tell him I'll catch the next train. I'd like that. It's just, I love it. Every single day that I go there, I feel alive. And as invisible as I feel at school, me. I'm glad you found something you love this much. I mean, that's how you feel about baseball, right? It's different. In my house, baseball, it's pretty much a religion. I mean, 
We've had season tickets to the Yankees since before I was born. <laughs> Don't tell them that. You know, my seventh grade picture, I think I'm actually wearing a Yankees uniform. No, that was fifth grade. I think. Um, so does anyone else in your family play? My dad. He played for Penn. Got drafted in the minors, never made it to the show. The show? Major leagues. And is that what you want? I think so. I mean, that's the plan. I just, I don't know if I've chosen this or if I was born into it, you know? Okay, let's, uh, let's go there for a minute. Okay. Uh, Dr. Nick Fadden. Yeah. No? Okay. Senator Nick Fadden. Uh, astronaut Nick Fadden. <laughs> or starting pitcher for the New York Yankees, Nick Fadden. Press as well. Nice ring to it. I think even if you had been kidnapped by a family of senators or astronauts, you'd still want to be a baseball player. What? <clears throat> Nothing. It's just, um, I'm enjoying this. Getting to know you better. Me too. My brother. And that's the last train. Um, I have to go. I'm sorry. No, we're going to work on this, okay? Our time. Bye. You're supposed to be home hours ago. God, Ben, you scared me. You have to stop doing that. I was just out um, with Nick. I thought you were at your internship. I was, but then I ran into him. Why didn't you call me? Sorry, I didn't think I had to. Well, you do. And that's what you said last time, and the time before that. You know, Jane, you've been doing this a lot lately. You come and go and stay out late, and I never really know who you're with or where you are. Uh, I will. What are you doing? I'm trying to figure out what to do with you here. Why are you being so serious about this? Because this is serious. Look, I, I've tried the whole friendly big brother routine, and it's not working. You do whatever you want without even checking with me, and that's not like you, Jane. So, so I think something has to change. I think there has to be some sort of punishment for what you're doing. A punishment? <laughs> what, are you going to, like, ground me or something? Actually, yes. Yes, I am. You can't do that. Yeah, I, I think I can. I'm your legal guardian. I'm responsible for you. Legally, I am. So I think I'm going to I'm gonna have to do that thing that you, that you said. You can't even say it. You're grounded. Are you serious? I am. Right. Now I'm that guy. Wait, wait. He did what? He grounded me. Or at least he tried to ground me. Wait, he tried or he did? I did, but I'm not sure it's sticking. It's your job to make it stick. She needs consequences. Look, you're doing the right thing. I know, but it, it just feels sort of weird. Like I'm being a... Jerk! I mean, who does he think he is? The boss. Because I'm in charge, right? I wouldn't exactly use the term boss. You're more of a parental figure. Right, exactly, because I'm her... Legal guardian. <laughs> you pulled that card, huh? I mean, how exactly am I supposed to watch the supermodel when I'm grounded? You can't do this to me. That's why you need to establish boundaries. Teenagers need boundaries. I'm sure he's just trying to do what he thinks is best, Janie. <laughs> you know, I know he means well, but I just... Right. Got it. I'm leaving. All right, see you later. Hey. Hey. I've been looking for you all morning. Yeah? Yeah. So, uh, my parents are going out of town this weekend. I'm going to have a few people over after the game. Nothing big, but i um, really like if you'd be there. Of course, I'd love to. Great. <laughs> I'll see you there, Jane. Yep, see you there. You're not going to that party. Uh, come on, Ben. Look, I get it, okay? You have made your point, and I will call from now on. 
You need boundaries, Jane. Boundaries? Yeah. And consequences. Where are you getting this from? Rita, Miss Shaw said. Um, you were talking to Miss Shaw about my personal life? She is your guidance counselor. And as you your legal, legal guardian, guardian, I have every right to know that your grades are slipping. It was one test. If I provide you with boundaries and consequences, oh it helps to prevent alienation and confusion. Okay, now I'm confused. Seriously, Ben, what is this about? I'm just trying to do the best I can, Jane. By grounding me? Unfortunately, yes. Okay, so just when I start to get a life, you're going to ruin it. A little bit. Tomorrow? No. Why? Because Nick is having a party. Yeah, I don't know. Jane's grounded and feels kind of weird to go to a party without her. So, let me get this straight. You'd rather not go to a party with me than go to one without Jane? Oh, it's not like that. It's exactly like that. Come on, man. You gotta go. It wouldn't be the same without you. He's right. You have to come. weekend and facing certain firing from Gray yet again. What do you say? Come over Friday night. We can do a John Hughes marathon, order some Thai. Actually. Fine, we can do horror. It's not the movie, Jamie. It's... <sighs> okay, don't kill me. What? I'm going to Nick's party. Are you serious? With Lulu. Fantastic. Hey, don't be mad at me. All right, everyone's going. Everyone but me. This whole grounding thing is unbelievably unfair. I mean, I'm as responsible as Ben is. More, I have a job, a real job. Yes, you do. Who's been a shut-in basically her whole life living by the rules? You are, were. And who is now the executive assistant to the creative director, John Van Decker? That would be you. Clearly, my boss thinks I'm responsible enough to put on a trunk show in her house and fly halfway across the world to deliver a lookbook. Okay, fine. I almost didn't pull off either one of those things, but thanks to you, I did. You're welcome. And now, she has assigned me a very important task of watching the model. But how am I supposed to watch Piper Grace and be grounded and go to Nick's party all at the same time? What do you think I should do? I think all we have to decide is what to do with the time that is given to us. Strangely profound. Gandalf. Less profound. <laughs> Things Billy. Anytime. So, what? Is she here? Piper. As a matter of fact. So, your fitting for the shoot is in about an hour, and then we'll get you straight over to your hotel afterwards. In the meantime, Gray is out of the office today, so I thought maybe you could just hang out in here and watch some TV, or... Uh, I don't know, I could get you a book, or... Oh, I'm, I'm good. I, I have a magazine, so, uh, I'll just hang out here. Cool. Uh, well, if there's anything you need, anything at all, just ask me, and uh, my desk is just right out there. Okay, great. Okay. How's she doing? Oh, she is doing just fine. Fine, really. Hi, Jane. Hi. Uh, what's going on? Just um, getting in a little workout? Uh huh. Okay. Well. That's good. That's really nice. Oh, oh, um, how? What? Who? Who is that? It's Jumping Jack. Uh -huh. I'm in a Mount Chatteratics today. Okay, well, we need to get rid of him, okay? Oh, you're right. He's boring. Uh -huh. Sorry, Jumping Jack. Boring. Next. No, 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 no. Wait, wait. Uh, <laughs> Hi. Piper, look, I... Oh, my God. Dude, get in here. I got Piper Grace with Chatter Addict. <laughs> we need to get rid of this right now. No. Can you just... No, no, no. Oh, my God. 
Look, this is a very important and stressful week for me, and if you could just help me out, I could... Paper. Oh, no. Hi! How's it going? Good! Super! Piper is great! You've lost her, haven't you? Um, lost her? What? <laughs> no, I lost her. It's so crazy. I mean, if I had lost her, where would she be? I mean, other than Gray's office, which is where she is right now, reading a magazine, quietly. Good. So you can't lose track of her under any circumstance. Totally. I am on the case. <laughs> it's going well in there. Yes, she is a breeze. A breeze? Mm-hmm. Really? Not giving you any trouble? Not a bit. Take a look. What do you think? That's... that's amazing. And I'm gonna get back to Piper right now. Because she's in there. Jane. Oh, yeah. Let me know when you find her. Isn't that obvious? Let's just hope she's still in the building. Oh my god, I really hope so. Have you seen her? Nope. Bad, 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 bad. Oh, that was fast. Hello, Carly. It's been a while. Yes. <laughs> yes, it has. <laughs> you know, what do you say we get out of here? Just for fun. For old times' sake? C I can't. Sure you can. Vegas, baby. Come on, you know you want to. I don't. I, I, I really, really don't. Oh, come on, Carter. Slot machines. Shiny lights. Dancing boys. Yeah! I'm so ashamed. <laughs> it's time for your fitting, Piper. Oh. 41 hours and 36 minutes to go. This should be fun. Hey, I need your help. Shocker. Remember that teen model I told you I'm babysitting? She is totally and completely out of control. I have to get her from the office to this hotel and somehow keep her calm until the photo shoot on Saturday at Donovan Decker, and I have absolutely no idea how I'm going to do it all alone. Billy? Yes? We help? Dude, you had me a teen model. Well, she's all yours now. Good luck, Jane. So, what now? Um, well, you know, I was thinking we've had a really big day, so maybe we could just relax and rent a movie. You could order room service. What about the minibar? Oh, I don't know. Maybe it's, we'll just look in here. She's out of control. I know, right? It's like she has absolutely no... Boundaries? Wait, do you hear that? I don't hear anything. Exactly. <gasps> Piper! What? Billy said I could order room service. When? Just now. Uh, 
I'm in. I'm I'm confused. Why would they have a teenage girl look after another teenage? Because I am responsible, and you are the only one who seems to think that I am not. Yeah, about that. You do recall that you are in fact grounded. Uh, it was for my job. I wasn't just gonna say no and. Did your roommate just ground you? Uh, no, he's kidding. I'm totally kidding. And it's my brother. It's oh. just, you know, a little family joke. You're grounded. <laughs> it's funny, right? Is that my shirt? Uh-huh. Wow. Looks so different on you. How old is she again? Not old enough. I really love your house. It's so homey and dinky and cute. Like real life. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, I think. Well, I'm off to bed. So, uh, can she stay or not? Yes, absolutely. But you're still grounded. You're in high school. You're a teenager. I'm the adult here, whether you like it or not. You tell me what to do. More go, though. Oh, bad news. The public convention was last week. You're up early. I'm more like out late. Just got in. Still living the dream, huh? That's right. Seriously, though. What's all this about? Don't start with me, Tommy. See ya. Hey, uh, Billy. Uh, what do you say you and me hang out tonight? Just you and me. We have some good quality brother time together. It'll be good. It's been a while. I like that. Yeah, me too. Uh, but I've got plans. Maybe some other time? It's just I'm going to this party tonight. One of Lulu's friends. It's nothing. It's I'm in. It's not really your kind of party, Tommy. <laughs> Sometimes we all seem to make mistakes. I've made plenty for you to erase. I've made plenty for you to erase. Sometimes. Hi, Jane. Hi. Um, where's Ben? Who? Ben, my brother. Right. He went to high school, where he works. Where you, apparently, are a student. Found your ID. And then I found... your real ID. Oh, no. You know, you really shouldn't leave your purse out like that. You never know what could happen. <laughs> it's funny, Jane. I knew there was something I liked about you. <laughs> oh, don't worry. I'm not gonna tell on you. You won't? No! But on one condition. I want to go to high school with you today. What? No, absolutely not. I can't do that. I would... Wait, why would you want to go to school? Because I've only ever seen high school on television, Jane. I haven't even set foot in one, not once. I've been a model since I was 13, and all I do is work and travel and work some more, and I've never had a chance to just be normal, a normal teen. And... Just this once, I'd really like to see what it was like. I'm here, and I'm ready to babysit the model. Please? Change of plans. Yeah, high school's way different than I thought it would be. <laughs> no, I mean this. Everyone.
going to be looking at you. It's like you have some sort of magical superpower or something. Is this what it's like all the time? <laughs> of course, silly. I'm a model. But not today. Today, I'm just like you. An ordinary, average, nothing special high school girl. <gasps> we should totally tell people that I'm your cousin from Poughkeepsie. Poughkeepsie? Yeah. Yeah, oh, it could work. You guys definitely have the same earlobes. Thanks. All right. Well, I'll let you two cousins get to it. I gotta get to class. No, no, don't go, Billy. Have fun, Piper. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> hey, Jane, how's it going? Uh, hey, Kim. It's going fine. <laughs> Since the last time we talked, which was in the sixth grade. Yeah, Jane and I actually are uh, really close. So, uh, who are you? Jane's cousin, Piper. It's nice to meet you. Don't you just love high school? Okay. You look so cute today, Harper. Oh, thanks. You too. Thanks. Hi, girls. Okay, so we've just finished one of the great classics of American literature, The Great Gatsby. Now, who can name a classic work of English literature? Um, yes. Harry Potter. Harry, Harry Potter? Yeah, you heard of it? Um, have heard of that. But I haven't heard of you. You're... <laughs> I'm Piper. Piper, great. Well, um, welcome. why I love Africa. <laughs> they just wanted me to keep an eye on her before the photo shoot tomorrow. You know, keep her out of trouble. Which is actually a lot harder than it looks. You know, it's amazing how much they trust you with that internship thing. Yeah, it's weird, huh? Hi! Hi. You must be Piper. I'm... The guy who likes Jane. I can tell. It's a gift. <laughs> I'm Nick. Well, it's nice to meet you, Nick. He totally looks like one of those lovable, popular jock boys with the heart of gold that you see on those TV shows. <laughs> Is that what you are? I guess. Sort of. See, it's creepy how good I am at this. Okay, well, we're late for my next class, so I'll see you later. Yeah. Bye. I'll see you tonight at my party. Party? What party? It's, it's nothing. Nothing. It's not nothing. It's my first high school party. Oh, and your boyfriend's so cute. Oh, he's not my boyfriend. Okay, booty call, boy toy, lover. Yeah. Jane, you're so innocent. Like a pilgrim or a singing nun. Okay, we can't go to that party. Jane, we're going to that party. If anything is more important than you getting it on with hot jock with a heart over there, it's me going to my first high school party. I can't. Why not? Because I'm grounded. Okay, and I promised Ben that I wouldn't go. Well, then you're just gonna have to tell Ben that it's a work obligation, which it is. Because if we don't go to that party, Jane, everyone at Donovan Decker will know that you really are a teenager. <laughs> Make it work, Jane, or else. This bitch is killing me. So how'd you get Ben to let you out of the house for this? I didn't. Jane. What? He just sort of said no, and if I didn't bring Piper here, she said she was going to tell everybody that I was so unhappy. Hey, can I grab you for a sec? Uh, sure. Don't take your eyes off of her. Not a problem. Nice view. Tommy, what are you doing here? I brought some party favors. Friends have money to spend, and I got a service to provide, so that's a win-win. No, Tommy, no. Hey, who's that? That is my brother. He looks a lot like you used to look. Yes. Yes, he does. It's like a before and after picture. And you, the after, are clearly much better. He's not going to cause any trouble, is he? Let's hope not. And this is my desk, where I do all my great thinking. Obviously. <laughs> it's very tidy. I cleaned up just for you. <laughs> wow, look at those. You want to see the one I'm most proud of? Mm -hmm. 
Spelling bee, second grade. You won? Fourth place. Oh, uh, and the word that did you win? Satisfaction. <laughs> Nick, you have a plunger. Timing. You guys ready for this? What's she doing? You know, if you were my girl, I wouldn't be in there cheering for some dumb model. Yeah, right. I can't compete with that. Of course you can. Look at you. You're gorgeous. And for the record, I hate models. <laughs> you were supposed to be watching her. I got distracted. Tommy's here. This place is a disaster. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Hey, maybe afterwards you could stay and help me clean the place up? Of course. Okay. You know what that means, right? What what means? No. No. <gasps> no. <gasps> yes. <laughs> let's, um, let's get you cleaned up. Harper, what the hell? Oh, not a deal, man. Just talking here, you know, really closely, because well, I'm a close talker. Uh, yeah, we were just right? talking. Totally. Okay, I'm out of here. Yeah? Where do you think you're going? Just leaving? I'm not going anywhere. Not a good idea, tough guy. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's all good. I got this, Cam. You got this? How'd this dirtbag end the party anyhow? Hey, you're right, bro. It's my fault. Look, he doesn't want any trouble, okay? He's just... He's just trash. All right, you can dress up all you want. But you're still trash, too. The both of you. Is that right? Just get out. choice. Come on, Lou. Yeah. Right. I can't find her. Hyper is officially missing. I have called, texted, tweeted. I even looked on Chatter Addicts. So much for being responsible. You did the best you could. Short of handcuffing her, right? When you said cleaning up... What? You just meant cleaning up, right? Yeah, what'd you think I meant? Jane, we've got to talk about this. Oh, you want to talk? Let's talk. Why would you do that? Showing up like that, it was so embarrassing. You had no right. You think I want this? You think I didn't want to be the cool older brother that you visited in college? The guy you confide in? The guy you have your first beer with? I would so much rather be that guy, but I have to be this guy. Jane, it's my job to keep you safe. Whether you like it or not. I'm sorry. It's okay. Oh my God. Honestly, after taking care of Piper Grace for the past couple of days, I actually kind of get it. 
But I am not like her, Ben. I promise. I am not like Piper. I know. Her legs are way longer than yours. <laughs> Shut up! Ugh. Yep. Are you okay? Couldn't sleep. I heard what happened last night. You should have found me. I would have left with you. I know you would have. I didn't want to ruin your night. I don't know who I am anymore, Janie. Well, I do. You are not your brother, Billy. <laughs> and you're not Cam and those guys either. You're you. And that's perfect. So, what do you say? John Hughes and Ty tonight? <laughs> I'm in. Ugh, but I have to go into the office and tell Gray that I lost Piper. <laughs> the photo shoot is in four hours, and I, I don't have a model. Gray is going to kill me. What? I might be able to help you out with that. Do I get to keep this? <laughs> You're funny. <laughs> Seriously, I could use a new rope. Out of your own time, and she's not tan or tattooed. She's even behaving. How did you pull that off? I have no idea. That's her up. Thank you. You look beautiful. Oh. No, Jane, thank you. The last couple of days have been really normal, which is not really normal for me, and you have no idea what it's like to have to pretend to be so grown up all the time, and, and I guess you do. <laughs> Don't grow up too fast, Jane. Piper, you need to change. The car's waiting to take you to the airport. Okay. That was a success. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks to you. Gray and I are going to a bistro to celebrate. I'd love it if you could join us. Actually, I think I'm gonna head home early. Maybe another time? Of course. Great job. Thanks. Better than ever. 